Today, I am going to be showing you, unwrap it real quick, this binder. This is an ephemera binder that I made for a swap. It's a mega swap in the Million Little Swaps Facebook group. And um, so I'm just going to flip through it before I ship it off because I don't want to forget it. <laughs> so um, this took forever. I worked on this almost all day yesterday until I was exhausted. But I love, love, love how it came out. So um, right here in the front, I just have this hanging little garland. I did put a little bit of sticky on this blue flower just to kind of keep it from falling this way. And I've got a rosette here that's all decorated. I ran this guy through my um, my sticker machine that does sticker on one side and matte laminate on the other and glue that down as a sticker. But for the cover, I put the paper for the cover inside the binder sleeve. I really wanted that. I like how it looks in there. Um, for this band, this is um, some seam binding. And what I did was I tacked it down right here with my HTG gun under this. Um, you know, this was put on last. So it's tacked there just to hold it in place. And then I pulled it tight and I punched with my big bite crocodile and put some brads in there just to hold it. And on the inside of the brads, I put just, I laminated one side of some, some of the cutouts that went with this and just glued that down right there. Actually, I ran it through the sticker machine and then stuck it down. All right, so the inside cover, I utilized the pocket that came with the binder and I have just tucked some, oops, got some price sticker there. I tucked some stickers and some rub-ons in there, but I even decorated the center. There's a little pocket here, so I just tucked this paper in then I glued it down. I turned this into a sticker with my sticker machine. That was a sticker right there. So that is the inside cover. Um, two of these houses, I ran through the sticker machine and one was already a sticker. I think this one was already a sticker, but I just wanted three houses, so I did that. And the paper collection I used for this whole thing um, and the ephemera paper collection and stickers was the Simple Stories I Am collection. I got a bunch of it from pgcheap.com and then I got the 12 by 12 kit from scrapbook.com. So I just took some of the six by eight papers that came in the PG Cheap kit and put a little, um, I don't know what that is, little reinforcement here to poke holes. I laminated one side of it and then I punched out tabs and stuck the tabs on to make little dividers. So it's laminated on one side, tab divider added, then the seam, the, I don't know, the reinforcement here was there. And then I just punched it with my simple three hole punch. This is actually just a staples three hole punch that I've had since probably the early 2000s. And then this one, I'm gonna take this one out and show ya. So this was a full size sheet protector. So this was an eight and a half by 11. So what I did was I put a piece of six by eight paper in, trimmed the top, and then I turned it and I trimmed the side to make it smaller. Then I added another reinforcement band there that I then punched. So I turned it into a mini sheet protector because I didn't feel like buying 100 or 200 sh mini sheet protectors for just one project. So I went with this. And then this is just an inch and a half wide piece of paper. I rounded the corners, stuck it on here with my ATG gun. So you can just take any full size um, sheet protector and turn it into a mini sheet protector without anything, just scissors. Um, in here though, I put a sheet of clear stamps with a topper that I put on them because I busted them out of a different pack. And then just to hold this in, cause it's kind of heavy, I just have this um, mini binder clip holding that there. So that is my first little sheet protector, which is falling out, which is why we need the binder clip because the stamps are very heavy. Um, inside the binder, I 
peppered it with some stuff. So I put these little trinkets and treasures things in here. Another handmade divider. And then this is a double, I did buy these specifically for this project. This is just a two pocket um, sheet protector for photos or whatever for a mini binder. And in here, I just put some paper to back it. And I cut these spools out with my die machine and put some pretty trim around them. So that is one set of ephemera for her. Another divider, some more little treasures. They're just photo anchors. And then in this, this is another mini sheet protector that I created. And here I put a bunch of one, I laminated one side of the cut aparts, cut them apart and put them in here with this little topper just stapled on with my tiny attacher. Knots in there. And then on the back of this, I pulled some shaker cards that are not put together yet. I included two shaker card things she can put together with the um, sequins that came with the shaker card kit. So I was gonna do three, but they're just so thick that I only gave her two. And then I just made this topper. This is just, you know, a five by seven um, cello bag and I sealed it at the bottom so she can always reuse this if she'd like. And that's that one. Another, so I made five of these dividers. Here's another one. And I made five because I had five tab stickers. So, um, so this is from my uh, previous video. These are some of the rosettes that I decorated. So I put four rosettes. I just put one on each side and they're not stuck in here or anything. They're just, I just flip them in. So they come right out so she can use them somewhere else. And um, so I got four of those. And then the last divider in the back. And then in the way back here, I just put some stickers from the four by six sticker book from the I Am collection. And I decorated the back page with some encouraging words at the top and then this beautiful thick gold oops I just just got this exclamation point uh oh stick it back down here okay well I'll deal with that later <laughs> so I gotta fix that but um the thick sticker the foam sticker this and then this is just another laminated piece of ephemera which I put through the sticker machine and stuck over that brad and then the back says chase your dreams, which I didn't think through very well because I covered it up, but whatever, we still know what it says. So this is just a ticket strip. There's three of these, no, nope, four of these for her so she can decorate her own tickets. And I cut these out with my Cricut and I will share the link to the free cut file for these if you would like to use it. It fits on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And that is it. So that is my first, maybe only, ephemera binder that I will be mailing out this week. And uh, if you have any questions or want to see anything specific that you saw in here, just give me a comment below and I will see what I can do. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.